Hi there, it's Bola here with another Life's Nugget for you. I want to talk about persistent determination. With this topic on my mind, I'm reminded about a movie, uh, The Shawshank Redemption, which by far is one of my most favorite movie of all time. This movie, in case you haven't seen it, uh, centered around a guy uh, who was a banker. His name was Andy Dufresne. This guy was convicted of murdering his wife and her lover. He was given a life sentence and he was sent to a notorious uh, prison, Shawshank prison. At the prison, he met and became friend with a fellow uh, inmate, Red, who was uh, acted by Morgan Freeman. This movie uh, is an old movie, but there are a lot of lessons that you can learn from this movie. Lessons about relationship building, creativity, entrepreneurship, leadership, and above all, determination. When Andy was given the uh, sentence, he was innocent, by the way, and he was the only one that believed so. As such, he was not just about to resign, give up hope, and accept that he would spend the rest of his life in prison. No. He started plotting a plan of escape right from the moment that he got into the prison. His plan was not the typical prison escape uh, story that you must have seen in other movies. This was a one-man plan that took many years of planning, working, strategizing, and focusing that eventually led to his freedom. He studied the prison layout. Uh, he was creative because he made a uh, rock hammer that he used to chip at his, at his cell wall until he made a hole. And it was through this hole that uh, he eventually uh, went through to escape the prison. By the way, he used a poster that, to cover uh, the hole. One thing about him is this. While other prisoners were busy sleeping in the middle of the night, Andy was not sleeping. He would get up and he would start chipping at the wall. He would chip at the wall, one rock at a time. And, you know, in the morning, he would gather the rocks, put them in his pocket, and he will disperse them all around the prison. At least he wouldn't want the uh, rock to accumulate in his cell room. In all, it took him close to 20 years to escape from this prison. This is a story of persistent determination. If you, think, if you take a moment to think about it, many people would have given up maybe after year one. How can you just do that? You keep chipping at the wall so that you can escape. That's a daring escape. But Andy was not willing to just give up hope and accept that he would just spend the rest of his life in the prison. He plotted a plan. So having a plan is one thing. Executing the plan is another. Can you imagine about 20 years of constantly planning and digging to create a tunnel to escape from the prison. Not many people can pull that through. For so many, maybe if, even if they try, after digging for a whole year, you give up. You just, oh, you just say, this is crazy, I can't do it. But that was not handy. Many people will say, this, this isn't gonna work. And this is what happens to many of us concerning our plans in life. To achieve our goals, we need persistent determination. Persistent determination is a complete and absolute attachment or dedication to a goal. 
in spite of obstacles or difficulties that you may face. It is about staying focused and on track day in, day out, months after months, even years after years until the attainment of your goal. Persistent determination motivates you. Persistent determination inspires you to take actions. Persistent determination keeps you going even when you do not see any results. So take a moment and think about it. In what areas of your life do you need persistent determination today? Maybe you've been applying for jobs. You know, you want to start your career. You've been applying for specific roles and you've been rejected so many times. You may be tempted to just give up and settle with what you currently have. I encourage you today to carry on with persistent determination. Maybe you are on a mountain of debt. You've been working hard to pay off your debt. But real progress appears elusive. You need persistent determination to keep going. Maybe you have a business and you've been nurturing this business for so many years, but you are barely breaking even. You are not making much profit from this business. You are not sure if you should keep going or close down the business. My friend, you need persistent determination and a new strategy so that you can succeed with your business. Maybe you've been trying for a couple of months to lose weight. You've controlled your diet. You go to the sh you show up at the gym every morning uh, so that you can exercise. But as soon as you lose five pounds of weight this week, you will end up gaining another ten pounds the following week. You need persistent determination before you can see results. We all need persistent determination to achieve the most meaningful things in our life. Maybe whether it's writing a book, saving money, paying off debt, earning a college degree, or maybe while working, writing a certification exam, building any skills, or learning anything new. We all need persistent determination to achieve anything meaningful in our life. Whether it's writing a book, saving money, paying off debt, any college degree while working, or writing a certification exam. Maybe it's building any skills or learning any new thing. We need persistent determination. Persistent determination is what sets successful people apart. Persistent determination gives you hope Persistent determination helps you to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Persistent determination will help you to achieve your goals. So what, do you, what are you going to do? Next time, when you want to achieve anything in your life, yes, you need determination, but I encourage you to add persistency to that determination so that you can keep going. You can keep moving forward, even sometimes when you are not seeing immediate results. So my friend, keep going. Don't stop. You need persistent determination.